Welcome to our The World Brief program. First up, Boeing has found itself sending a bit of an oopsie memo to airlines flying the 787 Dreamliner. After a LATAM Airlines flight took a surprise nosedive on its way to Auckland, Boeing is asking airlines to take a closer look at their cockpit seats. Turns out, a flight attendant accidentally hitting a switch might have sent a pilot on an unexpected journey towards the controls. Boeing's digging into its 2017 safety memos, reminding everyone how to keep those switches in check. Talk about an unexpected turbulence. Switching gears to something a bit more submerged, the Dutch are diving deep with their latest defense deal, selecting France's naval group to construct a new fleet of submarines. These aren't your average underwater vessels, equipped with modern battery tech and a hefty arsenal, these subs are set to make a splash in strategic influencing and special forces operations. With the Dutch Ministry of Defense at the helm, these submarines are ready to torpedo their way through the high seas, all while keeping an ear out for juicy intel. And in the land of the free, it seems Uncle Sam's generosity might be a tad too enticing. The US government's subsidies aimed at boosting the semiconductor and clean energy sectors are causing quite the stir, with a competitive frenzy that's pushing construction costs through the roof. Despite the well-intentioned push towards innovation, the semiconductor industry's notorious cycles of boom and bust are casting a shadow of doubt. With costs skyrocketing and skilled workers in short supply, the question looms, are these subsidies a golden ticket or a potential bubble waiting to burst? Stay tuned for more details on these stories. Please continue to watch for in-depth coverage. Boeing directs airlines to check 787 cockpit seats after LATAM incident. New York Times. Boeing has advised airlines to check the cockpit seats of its 787 Dreamliner plane after a LATAM Airlines plane carrying out a flight to Auckland, New Zealand, suddenly plunged on Monday, injuring passengers. The drop in altitude appears to have been caused when a flight attendant hit a switch on a seat that sent a pilot into the plane's controls. Boeing has reminded airlines of a safety memo from 2017 giving instructions on how to inspect and maintain switches on flight deck seats. An investigation into the incident is underway. Evening French Naval Group awarded billion-dollar Dutch submarine deal. RFI. The Netherlands has selected French firm Naval Group to build its new fleet of submarines. Naval Group was chosen over Germany's ThyssenKrupp Marine Systems and Saab AB, which works with the Dutch Damon shipyards. The four new submarines will be built with modern battery technology and increased striking power, according to a fact sheet from the Dutch Ministry of Defence. The subs will be used for strategic influencing and special forces operations and will carry an unspecified number of torpedoes and cruise missiles, as well as collecting, analyzing and disseminating intelligence. Biden's subsidies are working a little too well. Reuters breaking views. The US government's financial incentives for the semiconductor industry and clean energy production have led to a competitive rush and increased construction costs for factories. The value of the subsidies has also decreased due to rising costs. Construction costs for factories and industrial buildings have risen by 40% over four years, and finding skilled workers is a challenge. Despite the high demand for subsidies, there is not enough funding available, and the semiconductor industry is known for its boom and bust cycles. While the subsidies aim to address real issues in the industry, there is a risk that some of the incentives may not be effective or may lead to oversupply. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 do brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 do brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 do brief via email.